Why, hello, and welcome back to another episode of Voice of the Rings. I'm your hosting guide, Solid Iron Shield. All right, my friends, so we're here in Northern Endim. We just finished doing a bunch of quests for the Ent and Oh, and we are frozen and getting thrown spears at us. Oh, he netted us. And I go, ow. Well, we're doing quests for the Ent and a couple elves up here in Northern Endim. We just finished them all in the last episode, which you have just watched it with me you would know. And if you want, you can go back and watch it. But we are now going to go back over here to this beautiful Eve Spire, I believe it's called. My goodness. Leave us alone. Oh my gosh, they're all attacking us. So we're going to go back up for this Eve Spire and turn all the quests in right now. Have some fun. Oh my goodness gracious. There's so many of them. Baru Kazad! Get out of our way. Don't see us, don't see us, don't see us, don't see us. Yes. <laughs> this area is so pretty right here. Look at how nice this is. Look like, I like the effect you get when you walk through reeds in this game. With the updated graphics, they like move a little bit. Do they move? Yeah, they move just a little bit. Just just ever so subtly when you move through them. I don't know if you can tell, but... A eh, little, little hard for you guys to tell, but... It's hard because I'm watching in 2K and I'm recording in 2K for you guys, but it's still subtly better on my screen than it is in the recording. So like, and that's just a little bit of downgrading slightly, but you get about a 90% of what I'm seeing, like pretty nice. Again though, I'm also watching it on, playing it on a big screen, so. All right. So, by the way, this is these are pretty fun to watch on a big screen. If you have a big like two or 4K screen, they look pretty good once I have them done buffering on YouTube watched a couple of mine all right we got the pouches for you how can i be of service how can i be of service it'll take me some time to study these and if fortune is with us we will not need to use what i learn and also guys don't forget like the video and subscribe it's been helping me out a couple of you've been liking them a lot and i really appreciate that get some known and seen more megovanen megovanen Thank you for your likes. <laughs> Good. You have done exactly as I asked. I hoped the Garundane were not too much trouble. In any case, now we have what we need to begin setting our final plan into motion, which Eriche... Oh, her name is Erchiel will describe to you. All right, sweet. All right. And then we've got Mr. Megavonin. Hail, friend, and well met. Hail, friend, and well met. So, you defeated the Garundane. They began to scatter and flee. Good. They will think twice before returning to that place. Oh, we're going to level up, guys. We're almost there. What do you need? What do you need? Ah, I see you have returned with the relics of the Garundane. Excellent. They are crude as I expected, but they also show me more sinister signs. Some of the work is influenced by the customs of orcs and goblins. The relationship is distant, and perhaps they have... Oh, they had had no dealings with each other for some considerable time. But it does not bode well for our chances of coming to a reasoned understanding with them, I am afraid. The three Finn's tender uh, temperaments aside, I fear that our next course may best be one of decisive action. Hopefully, he will not be too upset with me. She says she has us uh, uh, delicious spiced apple pies for us, or we could get stew of the kings. Or we could get steak and kidney pies. Well, I'm not a real big fan of steak and kidney pies. I've had them before. They're okay. Of course, maybe I haven't had, like, really good ones. Um, spiced apple pie is always good. But I think I'll go with stews of the kings. I mean, if it's for kings, it's got to be good, right? Oh, we leveled up. Woohoo! We're level 43. And if you wonder why the tree didn't show up, it's because I actually turned off a certain setting in... Here, which I could turn back on, but it's called. I turned off post processing effects, I believe. Because. Wait, where is it? If 
thought I turned it off. Maybe I didn't turn it off. Hmm. Looks like it's there to me. I'm not sure why that did that then. Um, I turned it off for my other character on... I'm doing the deadly mode on our Lotro Adventure. If you guys want to check it out, our other playlists on this channel. And um, whenever you get hit by the Sauron Eye effect, it makes the screen do this crazy blur. And it, like, makes me feel sick. And I rarely get sick feeling from anything. Like, I get no motion sickness usually. So I know if it makes me sick, it's probably going to make you some of you guys sick. So I turned it off. <laughs> so anyway, that's, that's the reason behind that. Moving on. Hunting the Hunters. What can I do for you? What can I do for you? It seems you have fought well against the Guridane, but from your descriptions of their savagery, I realize that I have been hasty and foolish myself. Forgive me, I have fought a great many battles and lost many things I have cared for and become something of a creature of habit. The way of the sword comes to my hand and thoughts as readily as breathing, and I fear it may also be so. No, and I fear it may al always be so. I have misjudged the Garundane. They are feral and brutal, perhaps, but unlike the craven orcs and goblins, it seems they are yet unbowed and carry a great pride with them. They will not be cowed by such an assault. I will. Consult with Lithu Um Lithuinfin I think that's how you say his name on the matter. By the way, that is her husband. For he is gentler and in his own manner a more cle clever elf than I. And I certainly his um I certainly his mind is less clouded with thoughts of glory long lost. We will speak again shortly when I have had some time to consider our next course of action. All right, it's the last one we got here. Megavanin. Megavanin. The water glowed lightly, then felt cool against your legs. I believe that means it worked, and whatever damage may have been done by the Garundane should fade from the from the lake. Um, that was, we put the tears of the Ent in the water, and it, like, basically, like, repaired the water from the evil. You don't remember from the other episode? How can I be of service? How can I be of service? Wait, wait. <coughs> Let's do it again. <coughs> Excuse me. What can I do for you? What can I do for you? With those things done, it is now time to draw the line. Will you lend me your ear? Will you lend me your ear? Now then, as a warrior of some renown, I am all too accustomed to doing battle, and I always contend with and offer the threat of death against such mean foes as goblins and orcs. This threat itself is often sufficient to break their spirits and send them back into the darkness, unless they are driven by powerful masters, but not so with the Garundane. As Lithuanian Lithunfin has reminded me, men such as they, who are still free of spirit and pride, often place greater value upon the unseen and unfelt words than they do upon their own lives. The war wards were the wards were the clue, and it is this that we shall play upon to keep our respect um respective camps safely separated. You may have noticed a number of Garunden maker markers along the shore of the river just north of here. Those mark the current boundaries of the Garundane's territory, at least as they see it. But they do not in any way prevent them from crossing further into our stretch of the forest. That we shall now change. Oh, there was more. Dang it. Negavanen. The final task should be quite simple. Hopefully this will kind of... The marker you seek can be found along the northern bank of the river that runs by the Evan Spires. I believe what we're doing is we're going to scare them like there's ghost spirits. I think that's the gist of what's happening. Um... Uh, Alright, it's this one, right? Yeah, 
Originally asked has asked the modified um modified a series of Garundane markers into wards of doom to prevent the Garundane from crossing into the Eve Spire. Yeah, so basically their superstition used against them, basically. The Garundane markers are along the river to the north of the Even Spire, which is where we are right now. Look at this guy, he's level fifty, strong boy. Alright, long bow. <clears throat> Stand now and rest a while. Stun thou and rest a while. My roots taste fresh water. What's more room for the first in a long time. The even riddles are purified. Mm. There, that's my end impression, my friends. I'll get better ants over time. There was glory under the standard of Gilglad in the ancient city, but now I am weary. So she was once an ancient warrior elf woman who was very powerful. It's kind of a cool backstory. All right, so it's telling us to go and get these s markers along the road. Bring the Natkin. Uh, wait, bring the uh, Nat Rapkins back to Robin Dunkley and Osferod. So. We can go back to Osferod and also at the same time we can do the um, riddle one that's on the way back over there. And then we gotta go to Rivendell to talk to Elrond again. And we gotta talk to the Earthkin in this is the North Downs, I believe. I think. Trollshaws. Bring the Colossus. I don't actually know where that one is. Oh. Oh, talk to. At the Bird and Baby Inn. Okay, well, we can do those in the future. We'll keep those in the back burner. Oh, I missed one. I missed a marker, I missed a marker, while I was looking at my quest tracker. <laughs> Sorry, that was... <laughs> I'm a little bit too silly tonight. <laughs> and no, I'm only drinking tea. <laughs> I'm just having way too much fun. Alright. This is how you enjoy Lord of the Rings online, though. You just have a blast no matter what, and don't fall off cliffs. Don't fall off cliffs. Lesson number one, don't fall off cliffs, you guys. It's a good thing for the game and for real life. I mean, unless you have a parachute and you're doing skydiving off a cliff. Then, I mean, maybe. I still recommend it, but maybe. <laughs> All right, we're in the Evan Mir. Or the Evie. Evie Mir? Evan Mir or Evie Mir? I think it's Evan. All right, so there's a marker right. Look at this beautiful crystal water. Look at this water. I love that freaking DirectX 11 graphics, man. This game used to look terrible, terrible when I was little. Like I'm talking like 10 plus years ago. Now it looks amazing. This game looks amazing now. Look at that water. It's so cool. It was funny. I was watching an interview, and I don't know if I mentioned this in another episode, but. Someone said, you think they're going to ever update the graphics engine of Lotro? And they have updated the graphics a lot. But remember, it was built on a graphics engine from a long time ago. And I've had, I actually had a conversation with someone from our Voice of the Rings members, too, about this. And it's like, I think we all concur as Lotro members that we like how the game looks. And, like, you know, if it's not broken, don't fix it. Like, it's great if you can buff it up and make it look better. And by the way, this game does look better if you have better computer equipment and you're having on full everything. They've done a good job. They update old areas that, to look better. They The new areas always look really nice, you know, that are newer. Um, this is an older area. This is one of the originals, so it looks, I still think it looks great. But again, it's an art style too, right? It's an art style. Like, yeah, of course they could remake the game and use a brand new engine and everything, but then it's gonna look so different. It's like, it's just another game then? Cause that's basically what the guy said in the interview. He's like, that'd just be another game, right? like you could make it like identical like as we like everything the same right and just update the graphics but that's like that's so much work and like even though there's a big community that's a lot of that's a huge investment and that's a big gamble and a lot of money for like standing stones because they're not like a huge company like they only really have like two or three games and Lotro is like their biggest one so like they do a really excellent job, and I wouldn't want them to risk Lotro, the game, by doing something like that. So, that's my opinion. But, it'd be cool, but, I don't know, I kind of like how the game looks already. And we got them all, so we're going to go back and talk to her. 
some more pretty water. But again, they've upgraded things over time that they can upgrade, and it looks legit, and it looks awesome. Everything looks better. Just, I just, back in the day when I had my crappy little computer in pre-high school, and this game was brand new, and it was freaking 13 years ago or whatever. <laughs> Home room doom dum doom. Hmm. That's apparently Entish. Megavonin. Megavonin. Ah, well done, my friend. That should greatly reduce the threat of the Garundane for the time being. The line of wards will neither prevent their crossing indefinitely, nor will it stop some of their most insistent or brave hunters from intruding, but I will deal with those as I must. Oh, that's kind of scary. What it will do is prevent open war from erupting between their tribe and those of us here in the Eve Spire. And that is enough for now. You have my deepest gratitude, and I, and though I have no t more tasks for you, you may wish to speak with Lithu Umfin or Longbow and see if either of them require your aid. Uh, they don't, right? Oh gosh, Longbow does. Alright, that's okay. Alright, Longbow, what do you need? Let's not Let be hasty. hasty. The men dressed in foul wolf skins are of no concern anymore. So say the silky haired ones. I believe them. The trees of the mountain, they are atop no longer call to me. They have returned to slumber. The trees to the south, though, hum, scream out in agony. They call for help, big men, giant men, nearly as tall as long bow. Hum. Rip the trees from the ground. I can feel agony. Okay, um, so we just got a new quest line open for us. Basically, another thing that we're gonna meet for the first time, and that is basically, um, giants, my friends. Giants are in the Lord of the Rings. Yes, they are. Fruits of the forest. May Govanen, May might Govanen. you spare a moment of your time? Might you spare a moment of your time? I must beg your pardon, for we have forgotten to mention how we keep the giants convinced that this forest is haunted. It is easier than you might assume. I need you to collect some berries from the bushes and that grow in the part of this fo of the forest. They are quite sweet, but I suggest that you not sample them lest you find yourself led far astray by their effects. The taste may be flavorful, but they are more intoxicating than the stoutest of dwarf ales. Okay. Bring me several handfuls, and I will prepare a fine treat for the giants. They can be found south of the Ev Evespire and east of Amon Moth. Alright, sounds good. So we're helping with these three quests, so we'll put that one. Mind my words, traveler. Mind my words, traveler. I fear things have gone a, a wire and taken a rather dangerous turn. It seems that a stone giant of some actual cunning and intelligence has arisen to leadership among the giants of Amon Moth, and I cannot ignore such an ominous portent. Portent, yep. Like a omen. Kind of. I think that's like a sort of a similar thing. Giants are very powerful creatures and dangerous at the best of times, but they are frac. Wait, what? Fractitious and chaotic. Yeah. Yep. Fractitious and chaotic. And it, there's your word of the day, guys. Fractitious. Fractitious and chaotic. And it is quite rare for a strong leader to arise among them. The consequences of such are, are usually dis, um, disin, ugh. gosh, he's just using these big words every second. Distress. Wait. Sorry. 
disastrous. Disastrous, that's the word. Disastrous. Sorry, that my brain was just, <coughs> just turned off there for a second. Disastrous, for a few forces can stand against an organized war band of giants. <laughs> no kidding. They're like twice the height of trolls. They're as tall as ants. Like, oh my goodness. Evan Arichiel and Longbow would e or even Arich even Arichiel and Longbow would likely find themselves outmatched should it come to that. All right, so defeat the stone giant chieftain. Wow, so they're like, you, dwarf, I want you to go destroy the giant chieftain that's super smart. Have fun with that. That's what I heard just now. Stay a moment. Oh, that's so much of us dwarves. Stay a moment. There is a band of hill giants who have taken up residence at the western edge of the forest. Nasty brutes. They are, they are, and taken to smashing trees and tromping the undergrowth in such a fashion that it makes Longbow's knots itch just to consider it. Now I myself prefer battle of trickery to those of the blade when dealing with uh, fellows tri um, thrice my height and one-tenth my wit, and so I suggest this plan for you, to you. For some years now, I have instilled a fear of wood spirits and spirits in the giants. Nay, there are none such, at least not hereabouts. But the giants do not know that. Flickering lights in the distant woods, the unexpected disappearance of important things, strange and un, um, ne needly sounds, un eerie sounds. Oh unearthly sounds, all sorts of things you might use to scare children and keep them from wandering into a dangerous wood. The giants are a little wiser than children themselves, and much and much the same ploy keeps them out of this forest usually. The giants have been growing bolder again of late. Perhaps you could raise the spirits once more? Hmm? I happen to know that one of the giants that guards the outskirts of the encampment has a cherished um, lucky stone he keeps near his person, a rock of no true value, I would wager. See if you can snatch it away when his attention is elsewhere. That's so sad. There is a small rock um, um, crane I left nearby to help provide a means of distraction. Be sure to move quickly and stay unnoticed, or you will likely be stepped on. Squash. Like a bug. Alright, my friends. Well, I think in our next episode, we'll deal with some giants. And thank you so much for watching this episode of Voice of the Rings. And I will see you in the next episode of Voice of the Rings. I'm your host and guide, Zal and Iron Shield. Thanks for joining us. Don't forget to like, guys. Subscribe button's right there. The next video in the playlist will be over there. And we got another playlist over there. So, I will see you in the next episode. And you have a wonderful day in Middle-earth, my friends. Thank you for watching. And check out the other playlist, too, if you want. Yep. See you later. Zolan Iron Shield. Have a great day in Middle Earth, guys. See ya.